Okay, so we are in day six of my 30 day SQL query challenge. And the problem that I have taken today is a very basic one, but it's a very frequently asked question during interviews. In fact, whenever I conduct SQL interviews, I make sure that I have at least one problem, which is of this kind. Okay, now, as you can see, we have been given an input table and we need to write a query, which is going to derive two different outputs as shown here. Okay, so the problem statement tells us you are given a table having the marks of one student in every test. You have to output the test in which the student has improved his performance. For a student to improve his performance, he has to score more than the previous test. Provide two solutions, one including the first test score and the second excluding it. Okay, now what does this mean? Basically, you can see that we have two columns. There is a unique ID, which is the test ID. And then it's the different marks the student has scored in each test. We need to identify in which test did the student do better than the previous test. Okay, so if I look at the first record, basically there is nothing to compare. I do not have any previous test to compare it with, right? So either I can ignore the first record or I can include it. Okay, and that is what is mentioned here. Two different solutions based on that. Okay, we'll look at that later. If I come to the second record, you can see that the student scored 55. If I compare it with the previous marks, that is again 55. 55 is not greater than the previous test mark, right? So this should not be included in my output, as you can see here. Whereas when I come to 102, 60 is greater than 55. So 102, the test ID 102 is basically when the student improved his performance, right? And that is why it is present in my output. Same way 103 and 104, the marks are not increasing. It is basically decreasing. But when I come to 105, you can see that the student scored 50. In the previous test, it was 40, right? So here the student has improved his performance and that is why it is included in the output, okay? Now, what we need to do is, first of all, in, in the output, we need to write a query which is going to, of course, display this 102 and 105 because, because these are the only tests where the student has improved his performance. But then we have the option, should we include the first test or not, okay? In fact, here we have been asked to write two different queries. So in the first query or the first output that we provide, we should include the first test mark. And in the second one, we should exclude it. Okay. Now it's a very minor change in order to generate these two uh, outputs. So I'm going to show you both of them. Okay. Okay. So this is basically the problem statement. I hope you understood it. Now you will be able to download the data set and you will be able to solve it yourself. Go to my discord or go to my blog. You'll find a link in the video description and then solve it and then share your solution in the discord server as you have been doing from the previous five days. Okay. I will be solving it using PostgreSQL database. Okay. And I'm using the PG admin tool. Now I have already created the table. So how do I solve this particular uh, problem? So what I basically need to do is if you think of a logic, how to solve it, I need to fetch the marks of each record and I need to compare these marks with the marks from the previous record. That means I need two different data. One is the marks from each record. Whenever SQL is processing each record, I need the marks of that particular record. That is very easy. I can easily get it by accessing this column. But I also need the marks from the previous record. Whenever you have this kind of a requirement where you need to fetch the data of a particular column from either the previous record or maybe the next record, always remember the function that you should be using is lead or lag window function. Okay. In this case, since I want the previous record, I will use the lag window function. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep this query as it is. And I'm just going to add a new column here to fetch the previous uh, record ka, uh, marks. Okay. So for that, I'll say lag. And then I need to mention the column name that I want to fetch that is marks. Okay. And then I, since it's a window function, I'll use the over clause. And here I don't want to partition the data because I want every record to be treated in a single partition or a single window. And that is why I'll not use partition, but I do want to order the data. So I'll say order the data by test ID. Okay. And I'm going to name it like, let's say previous, uh, previous test marks. Okay. If I run this, now you can see that the two records or the two columns were basically present in my input table. This is the third column that I newly created. Okay. And if you compare each record, you can see that for the first record, there is no previous record, right? That is why by default it is returning null. When I come to the second record, 55 is from the current test, but from the previous test also the marks were 55. If I come to the third record, the current mark is 60, but from the previous test, the marks was 55. 
Okay, I hope you understand this. Now, once I have this information, I can easily compare the data between this column and this column to finally fetch my final result, right? But there is one problem that I need to fix and that is, you see here by default, since there was no previous record, it is mentioning like null, right? If I compare an integer value with a null value, the output would be null and basically the comparison would not make sense, okay? And that is why instead of null, I want to change this default value to let's say a zero. Okay. Now, whenever you want to do this, you don't need to add any case statement or callies or nothing. You can easily handle that by using the arguments that are available in the lag window function. Okay. Now, in a lag window function, generally there are three arguments. The first argument is like mandatory, you need to use it, but the next two are optional arguments. Okay. But whenever you have this kind of a case where instead of null, you want something else, then it is a good option to basically use this argument okay so the second argument i think it is called like offset and by default it will always be one what this means is how many records before or uh, yeah how many records before the current record you need to go okay by default it will always go one record prior to the current record and that is what we want in this case the third argument is basically called as the default value by default it will always return null if it does not find the previous record but i want it want to change it to zero okay so now if it does not find the previous record instead of null it will return zero now if i run this query you can see that it is returning zero okay now this is fine now i can compare zero with any integer okay hopefully it should work now i could use a ct here but it is like not really required because it's a very simple query so what i'll do is i'll just use a sub query here so i'm just going to say select star from i will open the parenthesis here and i'll move this to the right and yeah, I'll just move this to the right. I'll give an alias like x. And here I'll just tell where x dot marks, okay, that is this column. I am looking for wherever the marks is greater than the previous marks, right? So I'll say x dot marks is greater than x dot previous marks, okay? And let me just move this. And if I now run this, I'm getting an error because it is marks. And now if I run this, now you can see that I'm getting the three records that I want, okay? Of course, I don't need this field. So I will just tell it is test ID comma marks, okay? Now if I run, you can see that I am getting the three records, 100, 102 and 105. That is exactly what I wanted, okay? So this is basically my output number one, okay? So this is output one, okay? Now, what about output two? So this is fine. Here, what I have done is by default, I have included the first record, right? For the first record, basically, there is no way to check if the performance had improved or not of the student, right? But we have included it as it was mentioned in our expected output. The next expected output is we should not include the first record, okay? So some of you might uh, find different ways to exclude the first record, but you really don't need to do anything much. What you can easily do is just copy the same solution and you remember in this lag window function I mentioned the default value as zero right so if I just run this sub query here by default if it does not find the previous record it is returning zero right and then whenever comparison is happening is 55 greater than zero it holds true and that is why this record is coming in the output right now instead of making it zero if I could just make it the same value as the current record then so that it could be 55 here, then 55 greater than 55 would basically fail the condition and this record would get excluded, okay? And that is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to replace the zero with the marks. And now if I run this, you can see that I'm only getting the two records that I wanted, okay? And that is exactly what I want, okay? So this is basically the solution to this particular problem. It's a basic problem, but trust me, whenever you go to an interview, you can most probably expect a problem where you will need to use lag or lead window function to solve it. I hope you like this video and I'll see you again tomorrow with another problem. Thank you so much for watching. See you. Bye.